Okay, we're doing another class example. The first example on barter transactions, we're going to do a couple of them. This is a very simple one, purely on the exchange of dissimilar items. Let's take a second to read through the example. On the 29th of June 2012, A, the company, entered into an exchange agreement with the counterparty C, and C was a second-hand vehicle retailer. A agreed to supply an accounting package to C in exchange for two second-hand motor vehicles. So A, that's us. We are the company that, company that does accounting packages, and we are going to company C and saying, we will exchange one of our accounting packages for two of your motor vehicles. So the carrying amount in terms of IS2, i.e. inventory, of the accounting package was based on cost of 300,000. We did the original journal when we recorded this, we would have gone debit, inventory, when we purchased it, credit bank, 300,000. Normal selling price would have been 450,000, but we're not selling this for cash, we're exchanging it for motor vehicles. Okay, The normal selling price of each vehicle was 250,000 per vehicle, which we can assume equals fair value. Okay, each vehicle costs C an amount of 205,000 currency units. Ignore VAT or sales tax, and I want you to journalize the transaction for A. Okay, so the most important thing here is, I'm sure you will agree with me, an accounting package is not similar in any way to motor vehicles. So this is an exchange of dissimilar items. Okay. Which means that we will have revenue. Okay. Assuming the accounting packages are what we normally trade and buy and sell in our ordinary course as A. Okay, so barter transaction. Solution one, we need to record the revenue, don't we? So we have to go credit to revenue from sale of goods in profit or loss. How much we're going to recognize this, please? Fair value of the goods or services received, i.e. the motor vehicles. So that we received the motor vehicles, which had a 250,000 currency unit. And here, guys, remember I used currency units. It could be rands, could be dollars, whatever our functional currency is. We, we're getting two motor vehicles, so revenue will be 500,000. Okay, so revenue, credit, P&L, 500,000. The debit, well, the items of PPE are not going to be... Well, the motor vehicles will be PPE. They will not be inventory. So we will recognize property, plant, and equipment in the statement of financial position of 500000 Okay. Now remember, we are also giving up the accounting package, which was originally sitting in inventory. So we will go and credit the inventory, i.e. the inventory from the accounting packages, and that, if you recall what I wrote out on the question itself on the front, that was originally purchased by 300000 Okay, The debit will go to cost of sales in profit or loss, 300000 So at the end of the day here, ladies and gentlemen, we land up with revenue from a barter transaction of 500000 we land up with cost of sales of 300,000 and a gross profit arises of 200,000. So what's the whole point here? Dissimilar items create profit. Therefore, there is commercial substance. We have changed the economic value of the company. Nice and straightforward. We've got a couple more examples on barter transactions. Please work through them. Thank you.